A new diaper is just around the corner, it's the Try Again Diapers from Pretend Again. It's a new entrant, which is something we've been seeing more often lately. Companies that come from the ABDL space but have only been in a specific niche, for example, cloth clothing or diapers. They are expanding into the market of disposable diapers, probably the biggest in the whole ABDL scene. According to polls on my channel, many prefer these diapers. And, of course, they are bought more often than clothing or reusable diapers, which, after all, can be used for many years before they need to be replaced. Pretend Again describes itself as a company founded by ABDL and people who like animal costumes. They have focused on products that other ABDL can use to recognize themselves. The most famous example of this is probably the peak Abu caps. To outsiders, they may seem a bit childish, but there's no direct reference to ABDL. We know, of course, that it's not just any mascot, but that of one of the best-known diaper brands. Pretend Again is freshly entering the complete diaper market. Their website still says they don't offer diapers and refer to the numerous other companies. They want to take care of other needs, such as clothing, bodysuits and other items related to ABDL, which should be able to be used in everyday life. The company is based in the Pacific Northwest of the USA. The Twitter account was created in 2018, and the first blog post on their website was written in 2020. What is known about the Try Again Diapers, so far? They are said to offer 7,500 milliliters absorbency and have a plothed each outer material. This is the first time I've heard the term and it's not explained. Sounds like a new surface that may be a sheet of plastic that feels like something between cotton and foil? I can't imagine much about it. The asterisk at the end of the article says they plan to tell more at a later date. At launch in September, sizes M and L will be available. However, the larger XL has not been cancelled, but is planned for a later date. Additionally, there is a comic-style image that probably shows the motifs alongside a diaper at the bottom. Whether these will be printed alternately on the front, or in a uniform design on the back, is officially unknown so far. The manufacturer wants to sell them in the USA. We don't know whether the diapers will also be released in Europe, or whether they will possibly only be imported via retailers. Unfortunately, there is no more official information yet. However, unofficial pictures are circulating on the web, which were apparently leaked. Exactly where they came from cannot be traced back. For the first time, these are real pictures, not comic drawings as shown in the blog article. They show the fronts of five diapers and you can see that the motifs on the sticky front change, so not all diapers are printed the same. The diaper on the top right shows the back. On another picture you can see the right diaper opened in the middle. The entire middle area was printed with stars, and three of the mascots can be seen at the back of each butt. Whether these pictures are real and show the final diaper or possibly an older design, can unfortunately not be found out. If you compare the motifs with the picture from the official blog entry, they look authentic based on several features. The mascots don't look one-to-one -one the same, but quite similar. And the overall design also looks comparable with the green, the patterns on the sides and the stars. Similar images were also shown on the retail platform Carousel. However, the listing there was removed during research for this video before I took a screenshot. Therefore, I can't show it to you anymore. However, it won't have been an official offer anyway. Maybe it was an employee who wanted to sell the diapers at a high price even before they are officially available. All this is just conjecture, which is also due to the fact that we don't know a lot of things officially yet. A separate website has even been set up for the diaper. However, it does not yet contain any information. You can only sign up for a newsletter there. As soon as it appears at the end of September, you will be informed by email. How much it will cost is also not yet known. I still find this diaper exciting, especially the new outer material. So far we have largely foil and a few with cotton. There are still different foils that are more or less soft to the touch and thicker or thinner. Otherwise, there are only these two sides. What, try agains, is up to could be something new. What do you think about it? Post your opinion in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. When the diaper is available in Europe, I will also do a field test. With a free subscription you won't miss it. Stay dry until the next video.